cube root of fractions and decimals. So whenever the fractions and decimals are given, so we will see how to find out the cube root. So let me take one question. So for example, find the cube root of find the cube root of so I'm taking one fraction 6 139 by 343 so this is a mixed fraction now this mixed fraction you have to convert into improper fraction first then you'll find try to find out the cube root so we need to find out the cube root of this now this if we convert into improper fraction that is 343 into 6 343 into 6 and that the product should be added with 139 now that result is 2197 2197 by again same 343 so we ought to find out the cube root of this so we need to find out separately for numerator and denominator a prime factorization method I'm going to apply 2197 we need to do prime factorization method at the same time 343 also we need to do fine for 2197 is actually 13 table so previous some you have seen no 13 table if you take it will be 169 so <coughs> again 13 13 so 169 13 1 now this I can write 13 into 13 into 13 that is numerator place denominator is 347 so this is obviously you know 7 table 49 so. and 7 7 so. 49 7 1 so 7 so that is 7 into 7 into 7 so whenever you want to cube root of this so cube root of 13 into 13 into 13 that is 13 power 3 by 7 to the power 3 so cube root of 13 by 7 whole to the power 3 so the cube and cube root if you cancel then that is 13 by 7 so 13 by 7 is the answer for 6139 by 343. Similarly, uh, when I will give decimals, this cube root of fractions and decimals also. I will let me take one question for decimals. So find the cube root of find cube root of 19.683 so to find out the cube root of this is a cube root symbol 19.683 so this is you can first you need to convert into a uh, fraction decimal to fractions we need to convert first that is 19.683 so after point three digits so it's a divisible by 1000 now separately we need to find out the cube root. So cube root of 19,683 divided by cube root of 1000. So using prime factorization method only if you do 19,683. So already we know cube root of 1000. Separately we should do both. Nineteen thousand six eighty three. If it is divisible by yeah three table onwards, you can start. Otherwise, I am taking directly nine table seven twenty nine. Again, nine table twenty seven. Nine eight so sorry eighty one again nine nine so, so finally I can write <coughs> so insta okay I'll take one uh, by using 
three table only will follow. It's still confusing. 19683. So three table I am taking 6561. Because 9618 and we'll carry 16. And three five is a 15. We'll carry 18. Three ones are three. Again three table. 2187. Yeah. 3 table 729. Yes. So 3 table you can continue till now. 243. Again 3 table 81. 327 zero, and 39 zero, and 33. Zero. So if you observe this total 3 1 set. And there is one more set three. So total three sets. That we can write cube root of three power three into three power three into three power three. By down is cube root of one thousand. One thousand is ten power three because ten into ten into ten. So cube root of three into three into three overall cube. So three is a nine, nine three is a 27 all to the power 3 by cube root of 10 power 3. Now this uh, cube and cube root, cube and cube root cancel 27 by 10. 27 by 10 is 2.7. Right? So we can cancel cube root and cube. Cube and cube root. So, yeah. so 2.7 is the cube root of 19.683 so therefore cube root of 19.683 is equals to 2.7 so the method is we need to convert into fractions then um, we need to find out the cube root by using same prime factorization method so this is a way we can uh, do cube root of fractions as well as decimals and with the previous topics by using all this prime factorization method. So you can see this uh, website for the additional information at the same time using all, for all the question banks, test papers are available free. And subscribe to this channel. I hope you understood well. Uh, thank you for watching this video.